Who's zooming who? Wow. Take another look. Then now, boy. Who's zooming who? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your illustrious host, the minister of soul. The minister of your soul music. The minister of truth. Your host, Khadija. Let me start this conversation by saying I want to rant. I want to rant. I haven't ranted in a while, and it's about time. This rant is going to cover a few things. It's going to start with um, Ice Cube going on Tucker Carlson and what I think about Tucker Carlson. Well, I pretty much know who Tucker Carlson is. What do I think about Ice Cube? Now, see, in our problem, and I mean in our uh, community, we have a lot of problem with moles, snitches, turncoats, Benedict Arnolds, whatever you want to call them. People that talk black but sleep white or act white or uplift um, something that goes against the majority of their people. Now, I know a lot of Ice Cube get a lot of credit because he had that, what was it, a uh, plan for black America. And I heard the whispers. I listened to a lot of y'all talk about um, he, he took his plan to uh, Joe Biden and uh, they never got back with him. And he gave it to Trump. And Trump, at least they listened to it. And they tried to... Now, let me say something first of all. This dude is like Tyreek Nasheed. He's slippery when he's wet. Okay? And him and Tariq are both wet. And as far as I'm concerned, they both have an agenda that that does not benefit. And I know that thing look good. I know you can say, oh, what you mean? He had a plan for black America. Well, according to uh, a few people, he was lying about the Democrats, not, I mean, it being ignored by the Democrats. They offered him an opportunity to talk, and let's have a roundtable discussion with other entertainers and other black people, what they felt about his plan. But what it was is, you know how most of us are, we got egos. And we feel that nobody can tell us that we're definitely intellectual masturbators. So, according to my source, he thought he was better than everybody else. And my source was listening to actually uh, the women from the uh, Cocktails with Queens. And more specifically, Claudia Jordan. And I believe it. Okay, that's number one. Number two is I watch how people move and who they move with. Y'all running around here thinking that he's not a problem. I don't like how he sat there and let Bill Maher talk that shit. Y'all forgot about that? Nobody hold his feet to the fire? Nobody hold his feet to the fire? The fact that Tucker Carlson is a racist and we know this, but he choose to go on his show and talk about it, and talk about Black Lives Matter, and talk all that shit about black people. Y'all really silly. But the, but the most killing part for me is all his crew is Steve Bannon of people. Look it up. Look and see who Ice Cube's handlers are. And he got nerd talk about gatekeepers. Listen. He is a representation of the right wing. And like I said, this is what's a, a problem for us grassroots people. When you look and see how many of your people are hiding behind a decadent veil or have their own agenda that don't really include your black ass and that you're going to have to really vet people much more than you are just because they sell you a con. Um, we got plenty of con men on these internet streets. Okay? 
And whenever you in bed with Steve Bannon and that crew and what's the other dude's name? Well, I can't think of him. The one that looked dead. Um, I, I, I'm already turned off by you 100%. I'm already turned off. But, you know, we always follow the dominant culture because as abused people with pain bodies, we always believe that the white man's ice is cold. Tell the truth. You think that the white man's ice is colder. And that's so sad. And I really don't think white people really, really understand. They know, but they don't understand because they ain't it. They ain't living it. The effects of an abused child, they can see it like that. But it, the black children, the black family have been abused, used, tortured, humiliated, killed, murdered, I mean, murdered, killed, um, everything negative to this pain body has happened. And we love our oppressor. Most of us have Stockholm Syndrome. Most of us are, are working agents for institutions that we know committed all of these atrocities against us. See? And they know that. Just like the NFL. What is it? 70% black. Let's talk about this for a minute. I know I seem like I'm jumping. But after what Ron DeSantis is trying to do in Florida, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, that would be the turning point. If I was a free-thinking, not-abused group, because this is what the, the U.S. people would do, the people, they would pretty much not go to Florida for nothing. They will boycott Florida. If DeSantis did to the Jewish community what he, DeSantis is doing to the African American community, the, the black community, because he don't feel like we got no backup and we'll always be their niggers and we can do anything because guess what? They're disposable. They're our punching bags. They're our trash. Oh, no, 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 no. Because let's talk about how they really feel about us because they wouldn't keep continuing to treat us like this. And like the lady said, I'm always going to refer back to if you know what's happening to black people is wrong. Do you want that? Would you want to be treated the way they be treated? And it always come back to, no. So they complicit. They know what's happening to us. But we're so stupid and think that the white man ice is cold. That we won't say every group boycott Florida. Black people in general, don't take your kids to Disneyland, Disney World. Not just because what the NAACP say about them. Just don't go. Don't be seen. Only only inhabitants of black people should Florida see is the people that live there. And then they got to do their part. That's the only way you're going to change things. You got to be on one accord about something. And so black people should unify around Florida. I heard that the NFL is, hurt, is holding their convention in Florida. See, a league that got the nerve to be 70% black are holding the, the owners. But yet and still the hypocrisy of it to, all to present themselves like they're trying to have some equality by the owners and the NFL and the uh, people. Y'all don't believe in shutting shit down. Y'all don't believe in saying, I'm worth it. I'm worth it for these people to know who I really am. I'm worth it. 
not just by myself, but collectively, so I can make a fist and strike a mighty blow. We don't think that way. And then we got these people in our community that are con men, that are taking the money from people that are already poor, and y'all so gullible and vulnerable, y'all start protecting these shamans. And listen, we let Brother Polite run around this community. A molester, a pedophile, allegedly, um, a wannabe pimp, uh, conscious. <sighs> Again, I don't even know what to call them other than a piece of shit. So, we got people that are among, amongst us, just like in the Malcolm X movie, um, FBI reaching down to give them mouth to mouth. We got black people right now peddling black information in black film and are really a necessary tool for the FBI like any other snitch, like any other infiltrator. And we don't seem to get it. We give them money. We don't sweep around our doors. We look for these people. But everybody is a leader, their own. And the more they study and research truth, they can stand on top of it. You know, I'm not a big, if each person, like Michael Jackson said, would start with the man in the mirror, we don't have to try to convince nobody of anything. They would be the master of their own ship and fate. And then collectively, they will make things change. Because they're thinking is not stinking. It's really important that we understand that. Because what's happening now is all these frauds and madness. And I'm going to come back with my other video. I haven't, I mean, I just haven't loaded it up. Or YouTube checking in one of them. The author of Confusion got women fighting against transgender women. Transgender women, I'm sorry, fighting against biological women. And this is a conversation. I always tell y'all, though, the devil makes evil fair seeming. So we're going to talk about that a little later. But in the meantime, tell me what y'all think about these charlatans and race traitors. And, and I'm talking about Ice Cube, Tyreek Nishi, I'm calling them all out. Brother Polite, Jay Morrison, this has stole all them people money. Not a fun going bankrupt. God help us. Heaven help us all. Heaven help us all. And more specifically, heaven help these people who have been turned around, pulled out, turned inside out, outside up, and they are so confused that they'll lay down with their open enemy and talk about, I got a plan for black America and convince the rest of the people that are black Americans that this is the right person because for whatever reason, they refuse to believe that it's an entity that's paying for him and his loyalty. It's all a mess. When you kiss the ring and accept that money, you, they, they, they reach in and pull you out when they need you. And when they pull you out, they need you to represent. Oh, and throw your flair on it, your style on it. 
right? So you won't lose your credibility in your hood. It's a mess. If you like what you hear, please comment. Make a comment. If y'all think I'm exaggerating, you know, going overboard, let me know. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you in the next video.